Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. I got two of Coach Rob's favorites. We got the Fed in the Fed spec and an oldie but goodie that he used to use. Can it compare with each other? Stay tuned. All right, so in one of Coach Rob's and my conversations um, months ago, he had informed me that he used a Yamaha Secret EX at one point that was made famous by Gabriella Sabatini. Right. And uh, I forget who the other person was, but... It was a long time ago. But it was Gabriella Sabatini. <laughs> Is who I remember. Right. Now, do you, did they have an oversize? They did. They had so a did 110. she use the oversize and I had a mid? Yes. A 90, I, I know I didn't play with an oversize. But. Yeah, 97 and a 110. The okay. 110 was a little rarer. Um, I didn't see many people with that. I didn't see many of them in the store. It was no. mainly the 97, but right. there was a 110. Um, and you didn't play with the 110. No. So here's... Still the, don't. <laughs> it's a controlled 110, not a thick... My Majamba 110, I had to hold what I wanted to say because of you guys, you know, trying to be a little PC here. Um, so 97, thin beam, right? Yep. Good weight, good heft. Yep, absolutely. I was looking at the specs of this racket um, and I was looking at the specs of the Fed racket. They're almost similar. 97, similar. yeah, on the square inch head, the weight. The balance almost there, the stiffness almost there, the beam almost there. So Coach Rob might have been playing with a Fed racket before Fed racket came out. Maybe when Fed was like in diapers. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like aging myself. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, sorry. So I didn't mean to say that. But uh, anyways, but will that Yamaha hold up to a Fed racket though? In today's game. Stay tuned. Um, yeah, I'm a little shocked at, um, the similarities between these two, actually. Uh, here's the fun, one thing I have to actually say first, whoever had this racket got the ball in more, which was really good. We had long rallies, um, whenever this racket was in play and I felt a lot more control and it was in my hands. Uh, when I was hitting with you and you had this in your hands, we had probably the longest rally today. Um, right. Probably like 30-ish balls. Right. I hit it in your strike zone pretty well. Yes. Yeah, so it had, it, I thought this had a little bit more power. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I was a little overly excited using Fed again, so I was swinging a little harder. So <laughs> our, our rallying was uh, down for sure just because I wasn't a... Um, Hitting it in as, a, as much as I would normally try to do when I'm a little more relaxed just hitting it with you. But right. since I wanted to stick a couple, I was... You were definitely amped up with that one, for sure. Be. You have to be. The balls were... Uh, I had to take a couple steps back when after I figured out that that was just coming. The balls was coming. 
Right. It, whether it be the gut, just the fact that once you get it started, it takes off on its own. Yep. Um, could be the power pads. Oh, yeah. Don't leave home without your power pads. I think it was the gut. Probably the gut. Yeah. And the weight. Probably. The extra weight. The extra weight. Right. But, but I'm, you know, like for what I got on this racket, it was like a $10 racket I got from Japan. I mean, it holds up to today's Fed. And this is an older Fed. This is an older yeah, Fed, but, but I still. mean, they haven't changed. It's not as old it. as that one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, right. this has been around for thirty some years, and it's still, um, it's still in good condition. It still plays well. Right. It plays like a modern, um, pro level stick, right? Yep. That goes to show how pros have changed, to to uh, you know, because they're using kind of old material, like pro stock, older racket that people used to play with that they still love and enjoy on tour. Um, if if this was painted with a Wilson and it yep. had a Wilson on it, right. would you even know? That it was a Yamaha? That, yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you colored it all up? If I painted, I, if I had my man Dan like paint this up, like looking like that, and we handed it to you, and where's like I, Wilson? I would probably think it was a Wilson. Right? I mean, if you pick... If you cosmetically painted it, I think it was maybe a little bit stiffer uh -huh. than um, than this one, but it would okay. you. I mean, <laughs> that'd be hard to tell. That's a tough question, isn't it? Yeah. So obviously you would choose that one, but brought back was, memories, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yep. All right. That was fun to hit with that. I'm sorry that my Yamaha is no longer around, though. Um, you have to find these at the thrift stores, like I did, in. Uh, somewhere in japan probably because i don't i don't hardly see these in america but if you're going to japan look for it okay it's called proto over there it used to be called secret over here so if you see secret over there somebody brought it from america you see proto over here somebody brought it from japan okay because uh i'm not sure what the words you know how they interchange from japan to uh america though but coach rob that was fun Memory lane, right? Yeah, absolutely. All right. That's awesome. Guys, for 10 bucks, you can have a fed feel. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Sky, great playing today, man. Thanks. Good hitting. Oh, thank you. My arm doesn't feel right. Uh oh. Interesting. I got something. Hang on, hang on. See? I don't feel a thing. Wow, my arm doesn't feel a thing. It feels great. See? I told you. All right, Harry, one more shot. I'm gonna go real big. Great!